of course, the most I set up men, the most I set up elders, right? But a lot of times, you got to let the spirit sup with you, man. A man is just a man. A men go off. Men are not perfect. you a great man that don't necessarily make you wise man you could been in this truth for 25 years 30 years 45 years listen man just because you've been in this truth for a long time that does it that doesn't condition you to be a wise man the spirit of the most high has to sup with you man the spirit of the most high has to sup with you man and the spirit of the most high can leave you right they're gonna come at you they're gonna afflict you they're gonna speak all manner of evil against you falsely for hamashiach yahawashiah's namesake and we just want the sheep to know this come with the territory man and we just want the sheep to know this come with the territory man all praises to the most high right uh, i read that again let no man despise thy youth right so don't let no man say oh you've been in you only been in this truth five years you're not capable of saying this or saying that right so don't let no man say oh you've been in you only been in this truth five years you're not capable of saying this or saying that give all praises honor and glory to your right so don't let no man say oh you've been in you only been in this truth five years you're not capable of saying this or saying that Give all praises, honor, and glory to you. How about Shimmy Awashai? Ain't no Give all praises, honor, and glory to you. How about Shimmy Awashai? Give all praises on and glory to Yahweh Ba Shimi Awashai. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shah, Ba Hashem Raka Kwadash, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. I'll say Shalom to the elect. And I want to go in again on these guys from Adam Abbott, which their channel here is brother sent me to the, uh, sent me this video. Um, w five W F I cold cuts, <laughs> you know, the arrogance, you know, when you cut the guys on the street, that's one thing. And I think they primarily go more into a fan base or looking good than to waking up the elect. I think, the uh, the goal at hand is to wake the elect. These guys, as you can see, the goal at hand is to cut people, okay? And they cross the line when they try to claim themselves cut, uh, cutting Great Millstone. Now, let's say, and we say Great Millstone is a doctrine of what we teach, okay? You guys, you guys are not out to reach the elect, okay? You're out to get a fan base, okay? So anyway, uh, getting into the lesson, um, uh, these guys, uh, the, the titles go from the presence of a foolish man or men. Okay, so, you know, uh, as I did a video prior, which nobody responded to, verily, your women tend to have more of a response or uh, more knowledgeable in their heads than these guys, man. Their own women make more sense than them. Okay, anyway, <laughs> uh, they're really talking trash. And then when we come back and do videos on them, we're slandering, okay? You're like big ass children, man, okay? Somehow along the line, the uh, uh, the father or mother, whoever it was, they spared the rod, okay? You should have got your asses whipped by that stick or that belt. And we can see these undisciplined children, disorderly children, have not been disciplined. We can see this. Listen to their behavior. Look how they talk about elders, man. Listen how they talk to Elder. It doesn't matter if you was in there 40. Well, we'll get some scriptures and give you another spiritual ass whooping since you guys don't understand the truth, okay? 
First, let's get a scripture, uh, Proverbs 16.31. The ori head is the crown of glory if it be found in the way of righteousness. Talking about a man that has wisdom that's been in this thing for a long period of time. Now, these guys, uh, they claim that it doesn't matter how long you've been in the truth, 30, 40 years or whatever. Talking shit. Let's be honest, man. The Lord is not an author of confusion. The Lord doesn't make any mistakes. Yahweh Bashim Yahshua don't make no mistakes. If it was meant for you little young gremlins to be sitting up at top of the head of Israel, you would. But you're not. Because the Lord didn't choose you to. But somehow, you you jumped in Marty McFly's time machine, okay, and came on to uh, from another time or dimension and came here and believed now that you're the heads of Israel. Okay, that's why you get these spiritual ass weapons, man. You guys are uh, undisciplined children, okay, who don't know the scriptures. All those scriptures you're reading really went to Great Millstone. We're the ones being persecuted by all camps, by the way. We're the ones being called rapists. See, you guys will only uh, adhere to our doctrine when it comes to the good parts of it, okay, the confusion of faith, okay, the destruction certain things, but when it comes to the grimy, dirty stuff that's in this truth, you got to shoo away from it, because you know why? You don't want your woman, you're so entangled by your women, you don't want your woman to see that you guys are not men of the Lord, okay? You want them to think you're men of the Lord, but if you knew about the so-called, uh, the doctrines that we push, and y'all calling us rapists or whatever, I don't know whatever doctrines you push, we're the ones being persecuted. Okay, don't say you're being persecuted. You ain't been in this thing long enough to be persecuted. Get the hell out of here. Like God, did, like Yahweh himself done sent you down here and beamed you down here and made you men of the Lord. Okay, anyway, you don't know the scriptures. Just stop it, man. Okay, now they, go, they also say, well, it doesn't matter if you've been in the truth two years or 20. Look, man, like I said before, if you was met, to be in the truth, if you was meant to have knowledge of a 20 year old man in the truth, I'm talking about a man that's been in the truth 20 years, you would have it. Remember, if you come in the truth at 40 years old, you're a baby. You're still a baby in the truth, okay? 35 years is a long time, and you guys aren't upholding that respect, okay? Because you lack it. You just want to jump in this thing. You're one of those guys that want to come off the bench and be a superstar. And you can't. First Timothy 5, 5th chapter. Okay, it says, Rebuke not an elder, but in him as a father. Is this how you would talk to your fathers, man? Is this, is, is this how you would talk to your fathers? We can see that you guys are unruly and undisciplined, and you probably don't have respect for your own fathers. Okay? Now let's go to another scripture, and I want to hit this point real quick. Okay, Like, likewise, ye younger, submit yourselves unto the elder. What does submit mean, man? Okay, you have to be under order to, to your elder, man. Okay, now the scripture says to suffer wrongfully. I believe in uh, uh, First Peter, okay? You're supposed to suffer wrongfully. Okay, let's get that real quick. This is First Peter 2, verse 19. It says, for this is thankworthy if a man for conscience, uh, if a man for conscience towards Yahweh endure grief wrongfully. Okay? So even if you, you guys feel like you was dealt wrong uh, towards an elder, you're supposed to suffer it. You're not suffering it getting on there making response videos. And, and let me say this, man. To be honest, this scripture don't apply to you, man. Because there was nothing to suffer wrongfully you for. You actually is going off. And you can't accept. You guys cannot accept that you're going off. So you know what you do? You throw a counterintelligence ca campaign trying to make it seem like we're slandering you guys. When really you guys are doing the slandering. Okay? Verse uh, five of uh, Timothy 5 and 1. Rebuke not an elder, but entreat him okay, as a father. Okay, and younger men as brethren. And that's what we're doing, man. Okay? You young a lot of you guys are younger men, man, and you're supposed to be treated as a brethren. The problem is you don't know what love is. 
You don't know what love is, man. Okay? You think when you read the scriptures, keeping the commandments. Yeah, that's love. But rebuking correction is a part of love. And the scripture says a wise man loves it. It don't seem like you guys love it, man. You hate rebuke. The reason why you would love rebuke is it's for correction. Okay? Let's get a, a scripture that you guys like to read, but you think it's talking about just the world. This is talking about you guys, man. 2 Timothy 3rd chapter. 2 Timothy 3rd chapter. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves. <laughs> That's you guys hitting, hitting my videos and other brothers' pages. Y'all guys ain't got no views. You want subscribers. That's your angle. If I wanted views and subscribers, I wouldn't be in Great Millstone, man. We're not about the views. You know why I don't like all those views? Because you get nothing but a bunch of goddamn folly. You get a bunch of madness of everybody uh, le leaking their opinion on what should be done and what you shouldn't do. This guy should have cut him with the scripture and get him out of there. Women are getting on there doing that, man. Because you guys don't have any control. You don't see any woman that follow Great Millstone getting on these pages doing that. Behaving like that, man. Okay? Covetous. Boasters. You covetous, man. You want to be like the apostles, man. You want to be the head elders. You're probably jealous of your own elders. You're probably jealous of the men that taught you. Okay? You're just jealous, man. Boasters. Does that not sound like these guys? Boasters. Proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents. Who is your parents, man? Parents are ones that watch over you. This is just not talking about your parents in your home. See, you guys are babes in this truth, man. You don't understand the scriptures. That's why we have to give you spiritual uh, butt whippings, man. Unthankful, unholy. Holy means set apart. No, you guys ain't set apart, man. Okay? You follow me. You, you just like these Christians. You're clapping your hand. This is all from your mother. I'm telling you guys, man, wipe that mother spirit off you. See, the women are following that, but they don't see that much strength in you guys, man. You know, they, they you just have more strength than the rest of the world. Okay? But, the, you know, you look at this, man. They're clapping their hands like they're in some goddamn church or congregation in church. Just clapping their hands like they we, we already in the kingdom. Come on, man. What is all that for? What is all that for? You really need to clap your... You know, since when do we have to sit up there and clap our hands? And if that's what you want to do, that's your thing. But to get on there and try to make a point to come against an, another Israelite group who's trying to teach you the truth the right way and try to tell you to stand up and be men, and you're clapping your hands like some goddamn effeminate woman. That's what women do. Anyway, without natural affection, truth breakers... See, it was all cool with, yeah, hey, Shalom, brother, walking by the camp, Shalom. But now you, you, you go along trying to teach some other doctrine about the mark of the beast. Okay? It was all good. But now you, you guys got pumped up. You got a little sharper. You got a little fan base. Okay? You got a little more followers. And now all of a sudden, y'all the man. Y'all done stepped out of the DeLorean. And now you the shit. <laughs> False accusers, incontinent, fierce despisers of those that are good. Okay, let me be honest with you, man. Great millstone, and, and again, this is the doctrine. You got guys who who follow the doctrine of Great Millstone. You don't have to title that page that. But man, there's only and I'm gonna do a video on that by the Lord's will soon. There's only gonna be one doctrine that's gonna uh, be of the elect. That's it. One doctrine, and I'll prove that. Later in the, in the, in the, uh, the next video, traitors hiding, Haiti, high-minded, all up in the air. Your head's like, like somebody stuck uh, a pin in your in your ear, a tube in your ear, and blew your head up with helium, man. Lovers of pleasures more than lovers of Yahweh. Okay, don't take the chip. Don't worry about the micro beat, mark of the beast, microchip. It's a wicked thing, but you know what? It's not the mark of the beast. You know why people are saying that? Because they, they want the good things, man. You know? For, for of this sort are they which creep into houses and lead captive silly women, 
laden with sins. That's what you're doing. And led away with diverse lust. See, women like strength. And this is what you, and that's why I keep talking in that. You guys are doing it for the women. See, they figure that whoever get the more views, see them views is like pocket change. Every view you get is a dollar, right? So what happens is when somebody got 20,000, 30,000 views on a video, that's like having 30, 30 G's. <clears throat> okay. And the women look at that like, wow, they got all the views. People are watching them. That's where I want to be. Those guys got it going on. That's what you guys, you guys, ain't, you ain't fooling nobody, man. You guys ain't fooling nobody. Okay. <clears throat> we're not mad at you. We're not hating you. Let me say that. I'm not, I'm not a hater of you guys. That's the first thing you guys say. Oh, you ain't got no views. If I wanted views, I would have got views, man. Okay. So, you know, cut the madness, man. Just cut the madness. Humble your ass down. Accept the rebuke. And start learning, man, and get correction. That's what you guys need to do. That's all I have on that, Shalom.